Hey everybody, this is Clint Arthur, and I'm making this quick video about this necktie. You see this tie? Yeah, this tie right there. This tie is a Harvard Business School 1953 class necktie. And I wear this tie, I wore this to a dinner tonight. You saw some pictures of the dinner on my Facebook. It is December, whatever, whatever the day is, Sunday night. Went to dinner with a good old buddy of mine from high school and our wives, Allie and his wife were there. And I wore this tie because I always find that if I don't wear a tie, I regret not wearing a tie. And I wore this tie because I don't get to wear this tie very much. You see, I always wear pink ties. And there's a reason I wear pink ties. I wear pink neckties because it is a marketing strategy that I have developed. Some guy's smoking a cigarette over there. I don't want to be in his cigarette smoke. So I'm going to walk out of this beautiful light. Any, anywho, you got to see the tie. I wear these pink neckties that I usually wear. You know, I always wear pink neckties. Because, number one, I always wear pink neckties. Some would say that is a branding idea. Some would say that's branding. Okay? All right. I, I definitely, you can easily recognize me because I'm wearing pink necktie, right? Okay. That's part of it. Also, when I'm wearing a bright pink, neon pink, solid color, no pattern necktie, it looks fantastic on video. It looks fantastic on television. Every time I wear them on TV, producers love them. Everybody loves those pink neckties that I wear. I always wear them. Why did I buy this tie? I bought this tie because when I was 53 years old, I spoke at an event sponsored by the Entrepreneurship Students Club of Harvard Business School. It's a Harvard Business School 1953 tie. See what I'm saying? 53, 53. I was 53 when I spoke at that event and I wanted a special tie to commemorate that experience. That's why I got that tie. Now the question I have for you is the question I have for you. Why do you buy your ties, shirts? I don't, this is a blue shirt. See this blue shirt? I don't wear this shirt very much at all anymore either. Why? I always wear white shirts. I always wear blue suit, white shirt, pink tie. Why? That's my costume. That's part of my there's a lot of reasons why I wear it. See, that's part of my consistency. I believe in consistency being one of the least appreciated, most overlooked, most misunderstood aspects of business success is consistency. I always wear a blue suit, white shirt, pink tie, neon pink, solid color, shiny, no pattern. I always wear it because that's what I always wear. It's part of it, it's consistency. And also, it being neon, pops in video, looks sharp, looks great, makes me stand out. It's a celebrity costume. It's a celebrity entrepreneur costume that I wear. Why did I wear this tie? Why did I wear this shirt? Well, tonight was a casual dinner out with just me and my wife and my high school buddy and his wife. We went to a nice restaurant called Robert. And it's one of our favorites, one of Ali and my favorite restaurants. Tonight was the last night of indoor dining in New York City until further notice because of the fake pandemic, plandemic, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to look good, but I wanted to 
not wear my business costume, which would be pink shirt. I mean, pink tie, white shirt, blue suit. I want this is by the way, this is my like casual blue suit that I wear. It's just like very casual blue suit that I wear. But I wanted to wear this tie. See, this tie, this tie has meaning for me. This tie was an accomplishment for me, speaking at an event sponsored by the Entrepreneurship Students Club of Harvard Business School. 53 years old. I believe it was at the Harvard Faculty Club or the Harvard Club of Boston, whichever one it was. I've spoken at them both. My question for you is, why do you buy what you buy? See? See, there's a reason I buy what I buy. There's a reason why I wear what I wear. Why do you wear what you wear? A lot of my, especially my female clients, they don't have an easy time with this whole idea of clothing not being fashion, but rather clothing being costume. See? I, I wear clothing. Oh, that's a nice picture over there. I'm gonna move this over. Put that American flag in the background because I'm a patriot. See, I'm a patriot. I'm a patriot. I'd rather see this country burn down to the ground than take it over by the Chinese. I'm a patriot. See, we got this flag in the background. You see the flag? Yeah. See, I wear clothes that I wear because for me, these clothes are meaningful. Why? You know, I, there was many years when I would wear neckties and they wouldn't have any meaning whatsoever. I created meaning for my clothing. I created meaning for my neckties, for my shirts, for my suits. I created that meaning. A lot of people are wondering, how do you have meaning in life? If you wanna have meaning in life, I can help you with that. If you're looking for meaning in your life, let me help you with that. It's part of what you get in my whole celebrity entrepreneurship transformation experience. It's more than just marketing. I know you want it, you buy it for the marketing, but get it for everything else because there's a lot more to it than just the marketing, see? There's a lot more to it than just the marketing. And for a lot of people, it comes down to creating meaning in your life, discovering meaning in your life. Part of it is in the storytelling. I do a lot of work with storytelling. That's why you know, I was really surprised. And, and this is why I'm gonna tell you the story right now. See, I grew up right around the corner from here. And when I came home from the Wharton Business School to get the attaboys, my parents got into the biggest argument of all time. My dad storms out of the house, slams the door. I turn to my mom, I go, you know, mom, the way he resents you all these years, have you been cheating on dad? And I'm thinking, wow, where did that question come from? I never thought that idea in my whole life before. And then I'm thinking, what kind of a rude son of a bitch says something like that to his mom? That's the rudest thing I've ever even thought of. And then I'm thinking, why ain't she answering the question? And then she goes, he's not your real father. Your real father was a doctor at the fertility clinic where we went for six years trying to have you and you look just like that guy. Say what, mama? <laughs> you have no idea. You, 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 you have no idea how much of your own self-image, your own concept of who you are is tied up in the fact that you think you know who your parents are. You have no idea. And I, the funny thing is that, you know, I've made a million videos with this story in it. And I had dinner tonight with a guy I've known since I'm 16 years old. I know he's watched plenty of my videos and he told me he's watched a number of my videos and he did not know that story. And this is why you always gotta tell your stories. You always gotta tell your stories. 
Here I am having dinner with one of my oldest friends and he doesn't know that story. I thought everybody in the world knew that story. No, he didn't know that story. This is part of the whole search for meaning. This is part of the whole creation of meaning for your life is the telling of your stories. This is part of what I do with the members of my Million Dollar Business Accelerator. And if you are an author, a speaker, a coach, an entrepreneur, advisor, consultant, expert of any kind, if you're an expert of any kind, then you get paid for what you know you think you get paid for the services you rendered. You think you get paid for what you know. You think you get paid for the products you deliver. None of that is true. You get paid for who you are, not what you know, what you do. My great mentor, Dan Kennedy said it best. He said, my wife broke her wrist. I knew I needed an operation on my wife's wrist. What I did not know was who was gonna be the one to do the operation and get paid all that money. That's all part of the marketing, all that marketing of who you are, that's all part of it. But really the big, the big piece of it that you don't even know you want, but that you need, you need it like that American flag. Without that American flag, we got nothing. It's just hanging low right now. And yeah, we'll walk over to it. Without this American flag, we got nothing. I would rather see this country burn down to the ground than have the Chinese communists take it over like they're trying to do right now. We cannot let that happen. You know what my favorite song is? The Star Spangled Banner, National Anthem. That's my favorite song. There's the flag. Hey, if you want to Get the marketing that you need. If you're any kind of expert, come and get the marketing that you need. I got events happening soon at the New York. Now I'm sorry, I just did my New York events. We just, hey look, last weekend I did a whole bunch of events. Training, speaker training, speaking events at the New York Academy of Medicine, the Rainbow Room, the Palm, WABC Radio. I'm the host of the greatest show of all time on 77 WABC Radio. I got events happening at the end of March at the Royal Society of Medicine in London and at the London Stock Exchange with Nigel Farage. Come and get that marketing and in the process, figure out the meaning. Come, come let me help you figure out the meaning of your life. That's what it's really all about. And by the way, part of the whole package that you get is part of the Million Dollar Business Accelerator. Part of the whole package is you're gonna come down to Ali and my villa in Acapulco. Yeah, go to my Facebook page, Clint Arthur. Look me up, Clint Arthur on Facebook. Look at my photo albums. You'll see the Acapulco masterminds. Yeah, you get that included in your membership in the Million Dollar Business Accelerator. And we got an event happening in May in Las Vegas with Dog the Bounty Hunter and Bernie Carrick, New York City Police Commissioner, and other celebrity special guests. It's all part of the Million Dollar Business Accelerator. Connect with me, make it happen. If you think this is for you, go to clint.com, C-L-I-N-T-T-T.com. C-L-I-N-T-T-T, -T -T. take the time, okay? Try to transform. Take the time, try, transform. Clint with three T's, dot com. I'm looking forward to helping you to discover the meaning in your life.